How we maintain and use the material biological resources that are central to agricultural production in ways that benefit us all and cope with the fact uh, that it is a, a politically contentious area that people believe they have rights and ownership over this material and this creates tension and therefore you need a space that will continue to address the problems of improving the maintenance and use at the same time allowing all different societies and groups and organizations and countries to come together to achieve a common purpose and a common objective. Its existence, the fact that it has been there and created a space in which countries can have discussions on some of the most difficult and politically contentious aspects of agricultural production. Its achievement is to continue to exist and to provide this space for this debate. I think you would find that uh, battles over ownership of material important to agricultural production and improving agricultural production would become more intense. I think you would find the movement of materials, the availability of the materials that we need to improve production would become more difficult and more constrained because it would have to be negotiated each time on each separate occasion by each different group who was engaged in it. I think the Commission has some real challenges ahead to, if you like, go outside itself is one challenge. To be an effective spokesman to the agricultural community who often forget that genetic resources are at the heart of everything they seek to do, and to the environmental community who often feel that agriculture is nothing but a threat to the environment. So I think the Commission has that role of reaching out to other communities and making genetic resources more recognised. I think it has a second role, which is internal from the future, which is to do with its ability to talk to itself. What is the reason why plant, fish, animal and forestry genetic resources are all in the same commission, but often don't really come together? to make a common cause and a common story. And I think that's something the Commission needs to give more attention to. Well, at a personal level, of course, it enables me to work with people who I've worked with over my entire working life, who are, are in interesting and are uh, experienced and have a sense of commitment and provide fascinating problems for one to solve. At a professional level, the Platform for Agrobiodiversity Research responds to the agenda that the Commission sets. Our concern is to try and uh, identify the research issues and to bring together the knowledge that exists on key issues of agricultural biodiversity and here we need to listen to the Commission and respond to the requests of the Commission for new information. So in both these two levels working for the Commission is extremely satisfying and valid.